Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the limited-time league MVP, Aaron Rodgers, before we hop into it. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button and also leave a link to my Twitch channel down in the description. We are live almost every single night over on Twitch. So if you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. And as always, shout out to my man. Shout out to my man, Kellen. I have no idea how to say that last name, but a shout out to my man, Kellen, for commenting the emoji on last video. All right, so the wait is over. We finally have the MVP NFL honors, Aaron Rodgers, man. And he looks amazing. I feel like we've been waiting for this card and, you know, kind of talking about this card since like week 13 or week 12 of the NFL regular season, man. Because um, right when Rodgers kind of got into that MVP conversation and kind of started leading the charge, um, I, I, I was definitely excited for this card. And it's finally here, man. So 85 speed, 99 throw power, 97 short, 99 mid, 97 deep, 96 throw under pressure with a 99 throw in the run and a 99 play action. The card is 6'2". 225 improviser archetype and today we are rocking with full play fake and full sprinter putting Aaron Rodgers to a 99 overall so last year on Lamar Jackson's MVP card he was actually a base 98 powered up to a 99 this year Aaron Rodgers is a base 97 powered up to a 98 why they do that this year I'm not sure um, there's a lot of reasons that, that that they could have done it but I'm just not sure what it could be but Aaron Rodgers stats look amazing um good speed obviously the throw power and Honestly, the stats on Aaron Rodgers really just don't matter that much. Um, I like how he has the higher throw under pressure on this card and stuff like that. But the reason why you love cards like Aaron Rodgers and love cards like Brett Favre is because of the release, man. The release is just absolute money. Um, they have the Slinger 1 release, I believe it's called. I think it's the Slinger 1. And this dude just absolutely just flicks the ball. It, it, like, you'll see it if you've not seen a Rodgers release yet. Um, you're about to be blown away in today's gameplay. But yeah, good stats. I mean, as a runner, not that great. No, like, Lamar Jackson... Um, esk you know cod or juke move or anything like that but they're just a very solid you know guy that can you know get you to roll out um and you know make those deep throws make those tough throws for you and you guys see the accuracies man just ridiculous i mean high 90s across the board what more could you ask for great throw under pressure for the consistency um 90 acceleration i actually do wish that was kind of higher so i'm actually gonna run escape artist on aaron Rodgers today um, I usually don't run Escape Artist, but I'm just going to try the 6 AP build on Rodgers. Um, let's head over to the abilities, though. Aaron Rodgers, Improviser, Archetype, obviously. Um, for X-Factor, we're rocking with Omaha. And the first slot, I believe, is the only different slot. The second, third, and the fourth are all going to be exactly the same. Here, here, here's the first slot. Um, gets Dashing, 2 AP. I feel like they should, they should definitely lower Dashing because Dashing is really not that good this year. They should definitely lower the AP on this. But um, anyway, so yeah, here's the first slot abilities. Misses out on a whole lot, but... Yeah, I believe the second, yeah, I think the second, third, and fourth slot are all the same. Yeah, they are. So, um, in the in the third and fourth slot today, we are rocking with Gunslinger and Escape, like I said. But here's what he gets in that second, third, and fourth slot. Does get Hot Route Master. Does get Playmaker. Escape Artist. Fearless. Fast Break. Wait, Fearless 3AP. Okay, yeah. But it gets all, like, the really good abilities. I mean, doesn't really miss out on much. Um, and unlike a Field General that can't get Playmaker, you know, all these improvisers actually can get it. Um, and if you are a Playmaker Demon... This ability is a major plus. You kind of just run Playmaker and Gunslinger and you just abuse the uh, Playmaker on this dude. But honestly, I mean, if it weren't for the bad throw velocity, like, Rodgers' release is so good. He low-key does not even need Gunslinger. I mean, it definitely helps, but um, if, it weren't for, like, the, if it weren't for, like, the slower velocity um, because, you do, because you don't have Gunslinger, then low-key not running Gunslinger on Rodgers would actually be not, not, not a bad idea. But you kind of have to run it because of how the ball velocity works and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. Does get playmaker, gets very good abilities. Obviously, a packer for life, full play fake, full sprinter. And for front arts, Rodgers gets really good arts. He has three of the best arts debatably this year, man. That's the honors, the 50, and limited edition art. He gets every single one of those. Um, definitely, like, the best card as far as card arts go because there's so much variety. Like, who else has card arts like this, man? Who else? But yeah, let's just hop right into it. Aaron Rodgers is going to go out there and ball for us today. I can guarantee it. Um, his 95 card was still nasty. I can... Just only imagine how much better this card's going to play, you know, with Escape Artist, with Gunslinger and stuff like that. I'm definitely excited. Uh, so, yeah, man, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. Here we go. Game one. Um, we are facing Bob X Professor. He had a Chiefs team. Team had Tyreek. I'm going to get Marcus Peters in that top three as well. But, yeah, in the new playbook, 
Might be a little bit rusty. I did not get on Madden yesterday. Well, I did get on Madden for around 15 minutes before um, my internet went down. If you were in that stream yesterday, shout out to you, of course. But we're going to hit Rogers' sideline, and obviously there's the release. I um, just kind of want to show that off short. Just, just absolute money, man. I mean, this guy's playing at Tampa, too. So we, we, we can actually try a deep corner here. Motion him out, and we actually should have T.Y. Lead him up field there. Very good dive there from Rogers to be the corner. And there we go, T.Y. Hilton. Dude, that's why you just can't play. I know people love the Cam Chancellor card. Um, everyone kind of wanted that card to come out. Um, unfortunately, EA did do him very, very dirty with the speed. Um, but that's why you just can't play Cam Chancellor over the top. You see what his speed does out there, man. On defense, and I know I didn't address it in the intro, but if you did look at my coin count, um, I was at around 300k. So obviously, this Rogers card is not cheap. I did go out there and sell my soul for him. Um, I did buy, you know, his his uh, power up, his his Redux, his his uh, 50 card, and I'm left with like I, I had like 3.2 mil, so I got I got this card for like 2.9 mil. Um, so yeah, a very very expensive card. Um, is it gonna be worth it? Probably not. Honestly, I don't think it is. As Chase Young gets back to back sacks. What? All right, so fourth and 24. Um, I met my man just paused the game. He's gonna back out. So game one, and um, we have two throws, both the Ty. Um, and the touchdown uh, with Aaron Rodgers. So yeah, let's hop into game two. Hopefully it's a little bit, uh, you know, longer, more competitive than game one was. But um, yeah, man, let's do it. All right, here we go. Game two, we are facing Renegade VZN. Um, had a pretty solid top three. And we're going to come out here and just start throwing more dots with Aaron Rodgers. I mean, this game, I do want to kind of show off the escape artist. I mean, that first game, didn't really have enough time to only throw in the ball twice. But yeah, let's try out the escape artist a little bit. Um, I want to see how that 85 speed mixed with mixed with the ability feels, but he's got a lot of edge threats. It's looking like we're gonna hit Ty once again, and this might as well be a Ty Hilton gameplay. I fed him on all three Rogers throws that we had today. Do get a nice little gain of nine. He's got reach elite. Okay, no edge threats at least. Edge, edge threat is the worst. My least favorite ability to probably face besides one step. But let's see what we got here. I'm just gonna hit my man Sean underneath right there. Um, Rogers also a good height. Um, usually will not hit lineman in the back of the head because of the height and the release. So. Um, don't really have to worry about that too much. I mean, it does happen. Um, it's not like he's like 6'6", like Herbert is and guys like that, but, but it definitely doesn't happen as much as it does on guys like, you know, Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, um, and guys like that. So let's see who we got open here. Um, no one's really open. I'm just going to hit Sean Alexander again. Man, coverage should have T.Y. open. And look, there we are, hitting our lineman in the back of the head. Uh, see what I mean? So Rodgers being 6'2", that's going to happen. Um, I mean, you hate to see it, obviously, but that's just, that's just how this game works, man. Um, there are just so many quarterbacks where that happens with, you know what I mean? Like, guys like Josh Allen, that does really not happen with because he's 6'5", but yeah, that's going to happen. I, I mean, I, you got to get used to not lowballing those, which is tough, yes, but yeah, we're going to hit it this time. Not going to lowball it, and there's T.Y. once again. Um, we're, we're, just, we're just taking our yardage, man. Taking our yardage, taking our yardage, and our opponent is experiencing network problems here. So let's try a little skate artist here. Um, gotta get out here, gotta get out here. Here's Rogers running the ball. And look at Rogers go. Rogers actually went at the edge. That's Chase Young. That is Chase Young. That is Chase Young chasing him. That is a fast man. Rogers, we're gonna try. Oh no, nothing's really open. Just step up, step up. Go, Rogers, go, go, go. Get out, Rogers. Go, Rogers, dive. Alright, so um that kind of shows you what happens if you try to use uh Aaron Rodgers like he's Lamar Jackson. He will fumble. I'm just saying that right now. He will fumble. Um, as you guys just saw, it's gonna happen. Uh, I, I tried, I tried to, uh, I tried, I thought I had Lamar after that big run, and then the next thing you know, the ball's on the ground. I, I don't know what happened, but here we go. Runs it outside, and there we go, another nice stop on the line of scrimmage. Just guys, ran the ball twice, let's see, I wanna see him drop back and try to pass the thing. Alright, here we go, fourth and three after another nice pass breakup. My opponent is apparently punting, which is actually smart, but you never see dudes in ha you never see dudes in head-to-head -head actually punt, so... This is a rare sight. Uh, I'm actually very surprised. Too good to be true. But yeah. Oh, no, it's a fake. Yeah, that's what, okay, that's what I thought. He goes to a fake here, and he's not going to get it. I have uh, Bobby Bell making the tag right there on Ricard. And our ball on the 13. So we actually don't lose that much from fumbling. And I'm going to just try to do it again. I'm going to. I Okay, after the fumble, like, I want to run the ball in with Rodgers now. I'm motivated. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that. All right. We should get, the, should, should get this motion off. Flatten a slant out here. Uh, should have be open, good pass lead, and there we go. Rogers throws a nice dot. So um, Rogers has kind of been going through it. You know, we had the fumble, but now um, we're here throwing a dot right there to Tyreek Hill. Love to see it. Yeah, Rogers did kind of struggle on that first drive. He hit it in the back of the head, 
and then fumbled. I mean, but but we, we did have some good throws as well. As, I mean, I, I can't forget about those. But, yeah, let's hop into game three. Um, two kind of quick games. So, yeah, let, let's try to get one more good one, man. Let's see what we got here. And we should actually have B open if I lowball this. Another just dot right there from Aaron Rodgers. What, what kind of defense are we seeing here? All right, another cover. We're facing a cover two, man. I kind of want to try to take a shot down the field. Um, so, we're going to come out here. Strong slot. Um, do I run the ball once actually? I think we get the draw ready to go. So let, let's get let, let's put the draw on the audibles. Um, let's also, you know, get the uh the PA lead draw shot ready. And let, yeah, let's let's go draw. It's not gonna work most likely, but I do want to try taking this shot here to TY. So maybe he'll jump on the draw this time. Yeah, I believe he's actually on the guy. Yeah, so yeah, we should be one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And we're gonna motion Santana over, make him think that we're running the ball. And then the bomb is just gonna be thrown here. Um, he's on Adams. Okay, he didn't really bite on it, but... Okay, we actually have it open. There we go. T.Y. for a touchdown. Good throw there from Rodgers. Splitting that cover, too. If it was a cover, two man, I couldn't really tell. Um, I didn't see anyone following him, so I think it was probably his own. Yeah, okay, he ran Tampa, too. Uh, we're going to split that nine times out of ten. All right, on defense, my man does have... I was about to say he does have Alex Smith, but... Um, he comes out and throws a pick before I can even... And he's Oh, he's already gone. He already shut the Xbox off. It's already been... He probably smashed it. He probably, I don't even, how did he, wait, how did he quit so fast? How is that even possible? Um, oh, T.Y.'s got bumped really bad. T.Y.'s actually still, oh my god, dude, T.Y. Hillen is just so good. Go, T.Y., go, you're faster. T.Y. Hillen is faster, we're gonna try to stop and go. He clicked on, oh no, I got the animation on the sideline. Oh, dude, okay, nice, nice throw right there from Rodgers, gets it off, good pass lead. Obviously, T.Y., um, throwing up the, you know, you know, the T and the Y, obviously, that's what he does, but... T.Y. has kind of stolen this gameplay somehow from the, from the MVP Rodgers. I don't know how he actually pulled that off, but yeah, we're going to roll out here. And we're actually gonna, I'm going to try to run for this. I'm running for this no matter what, actually. If we fumble, we fumble. We're, we're going for it, man. Wait, playmaker and playmaker. No, okay, never mind. He sent a spy immediately. And can I get it open? And even with the fastest release in the game, paired with Gunslinger, we don't have enough time to get that thing off. Um, so even after that big game with T.Y., Am I gonna be able to even score on this? I, I don't know. Oh, here we go. We gotta pick up the edge rusher. Um, because he got pressure really fast. This is actually a big down for us. Um, I either want to try to hit. We actually might have Santana open low key. Santana middle of the field. Good low ball right there. And oh my what I mean, that was that was probably blind. Nine times out of ten, I look really stupid, but when you throw a dot like that, your opponent's thinking, what like what is this dude doing, bro? How did he even see that? And honestly. I don't know. I was that was a predetermined Big Ben read. I knew where I was going before I called hike. And my man is using with Landon Collins. Which route will he pick? Either the crosser or okay, it's man. And Ty's open. Just throw it up there, Rogers. Rogers has it says out of range, but Rogers has a perfect pass lead. And once again, Ty Hill and showing up on the beater, man. Um, should I bullet pass that? Maybe, but hey, still a dot right there from Aaron. Motion him out, and we should be cooking man coverage here. If we don't, oh, that's a tough throw. It was under pressure as well. Under pressure. Um, we got to throw out a sack right there. Rodgers, unfortunate. Um, you can't really control that. But, yeah, we do, we do end up throwing the pick. I, okay, I actually wanted to guard the flats and it ended up working for us. And we get a sack right there. Chase Young off the edge. What is that? Another game today where I've turned the ball over and then my opponent gives it right back in basically the same spot. Um, we're basically out here getting redos. But, I mean, let's let's block the edge guy. I want to show off that escape artist. I haven't really been able to. This guy's got really good spies off the edge. Um, but let's try out throwing the run here. Roger should get that there. I should have pulled past that. Doesn't matter. T.Y. Hill and touchdown. Um, showing off the escape bars to throw on the run. Um, T.Y. is going to cook man coverage. And Aaron Rodgers puts it on the dime. And, uh, yeah, 7 to uh, 14 after I hopefully make this extra point. Okay, we got it. Um, unfortunately, oh, he's, flips, he's flipping the play. Oh, so he flipped, he, all he did was flip the play and switch to who's running it. So he's going to throw it outside here again. And, yeah, no, like, what are you doing, bro? And we actually might not get out of the first quarter again. No way this guy quits, right? Don't quit. Don't quit. Come on. Let's see if we can get my man open. Oh, we got T.Y. open. T.Y. is just out here. I mean, it gets man coverage. T.Y. is obviously going to steal the gameplay because he has route tech and is so fast. But T.Y. has got to calm down. And that stat line, I mean, it, it doesn't look as good as I feel like I've been playing. But, yeah, I mean, I, we're actually, I guess we're struggling. We do get out of the first quarter. And let's see if we can run. I, I mean, I'm going to have to run the ball here. There's no way with my reads and my luck today that I'll be able to... Uh, you know, actually throw for a tud here, but I'm gonna still gonna try it, man. You know what? Still gonna try it. He's been playing man too, which is tough. Up the middle. Okay, wait. He wants to. Okay, no, we get shed. Oh man. 
Motion out. Oh, yeah, he's in a sin. He's, he's on us, man. Throw under pressure. Once again, Rodgers does sail it, but... Yeah, another turnover. So we have the pick, and now the uh, another missed throw out of the uh, out of the sack under pressure. We're actually in the wrong play. Should have Ty and Rodgers. Like, is that the energy? Like, what is the problem? So, I mean, if Rodgers is sailing throws this bad because of bad energy, maybe running escape artist is actually not a good idea because, I mean, he also did get hit. But yeah, I mean, when you run escape artist, you're more prone to get hit because you know, you're rolling out and doing stuff like that. But oh, once again, off the edge. Look at this throw off the edge. I, I have no time in the pocket. That's what it's coming down to. I have no time in the pocket whatsoever. And that is the reason why we're struggling right now. I, 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 I gotta, I'm going to stand by that. I'm going to call timeout because Rodgers got hit back-to-back -back plays. We're actually all out of timeout. So, all right. So, does this guy have edge threats? Like, why is he getting such good pressure? Like, oh, he's got... he. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's why I'm struggling so bad. Okay, so it's not Aaron Rodgers completely. I took another delay game. But, yeah, it's not Aaron Rodgers completely. This guy's running two edge threat elites, man. He's got two edge threat elites. He's wasting 10 AP on pass rush. That's why I feel like I'm sailing so many throws. So I, I know that you guys probably already commented, LOL, Stevie, this card looks mid. But man, dude, it's because of the added pressure and the edge threat on Aaron Rodgers that's happening right now. That, that's what's happening. I actually didn't realize this. I'm actually going to block more because I'm realizing now what's going on. And you can't double team both sides. So it's been, it's, that's why it's kind of been tough for me. Throw this thing up. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. There we go. No pressure gets there. And there's another dot right there from Aaron Rodgers. So that's why there has been inconsistencies and only that big throw down the field. So damn, now I understand why Rodgers wasn't looking that great. I see now. We got to block. We got to block the whole team. That's why you always check your abilities. You know what I mean? That's why you always got to check them. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predetermine T.Y. Big Ben Reed and we make the throw. Stop. Go T.Y. And we got a really bad stop and go animation right there. Oh, here's that another good throw right here from to, to uh, Tyree Kill. Felt the edge pressure and um, dude, I have never faced. I'm gonna be honest, I have never faced the two edge threat elites. But man, it is something crazy. Um, but even though we did a throw for under 50%, looking like Jameis Winston, um, we did go for almost 300 passing. So I mean, a good day, but also a bad day for Rodgers as well in that last game. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the Aaron Rodgers gameplay. And this card, obviously, um, is not only one of the best QBs in Mutt, debatably the best QB in Mutt. Um, he's also one of the best cards in general in the game. Um, has the best throw animation in the game. Um, you know, the speeds there, the abilities, the accuracies, obviously the throw power, um, throw on the run, stuff like that. This card is just so consistent. And um, when we kind of knew that Aaron Rodgers was going to win MVP, we were hoping that this card... Um, looked like this this card looked just this card just looks so good um i know some of us are kind of hoping for some better speed but i'm telling you right now with the skate artist this card feels like he has like mid 90 speed um back there so this aaron Rodgers card absolutely amazing but do i recommend him because you know aaron Rodgers and all these other nfl honors cards they're not cheap they're not cheap so if i were you and you want this aaron Rodgers card i wouldn't buy him i'd wait till friday when the new series drops or uh, until at least we do uh you know see if we have our 97 overall power pass, if we don't, then you can kind of act on the Aaron Rodgers card. But yeah, I don't know if you should go and buy Rodgers yet. I want to see what they do with the new series and stuff like that. Um, who knows? Maybe on Good Morning Madden, they already told us what we're what we're going to get. Um, if they did, let me know down below. But um, yeah, I would wait and hold off. Obviously, his price will drop. No card's worth, you know, what this card is worth right now. Um, one of the most, if not the most expensive cards in the game right now is this card. So um yeah it depends if i mean if you are mutt rich and have you know 15 mil or whatever then go get him why not he, he, he's definitely um the best quarterback in the game in my opinion so why not go and do it man but uh yeah if you are still watching let's comment the cheese emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video and if you are new here hit that subscribe button turn notifications we post daily madden 21 content and as always i will see you boys in the next one